What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But, um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Pull up in your town when you see me, you know everything. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. I put it down, representing for my team. I'm in green and yellow. How elite is Matthew Stafford? Does it feel like he gets a lot of the cred because his teammate hasn't made a deep playoff push ever? But uh, what type of a quarterback is he on film and on the field for you to face? Yeah, a great quarterback. Um, he can make all the throws um, and he has a big arm. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, you know, playing him over the years, you know, I've always say he's you know, one of those top top guys in the league. Um, you know, when you make it make them comfortable just like all quarterbacks, you know what I'm saying? You can't make you know, make it make it easy. Don't make it easy on them quarterbacks. Um, you know, hopefully we can get some, some pressure on them and um, we, we can lock up in the back end. Oh, um, you know they got they got some some great weapons and then some um, good tight ends, good young tight ends, and um, you know more and more we dive in and get in great. into the film work. Um, <laughs> once we you know get into the film work, we, we'll see more. On them. What's Matthew Stafford's greatest asset? Like, is it the arm angles he can deliver the ball at and still have precision and accuracy and velocity? Or is it his deep ball? What's his best asset? I would say his um, his arm strength, and then um, he's more athletic than you know you would think. Um, I know over the years um, he get you know had a lot of scramble first downs, and um, you know that. You know, we never like to see those in the back end because, you know, when you, when you play good coverage and then he can get out the pocket and, and, and run for that first down, and then, you know, you set it down for the offense. Adrian, you know, three more picks, and I don't know if anybody has two yet. You know, what does that say about just a collective group and how everybody, no matter the situation, has been able to come up with me and make plays? Yeah, um, I think Kev got two. Yeah, okay. But, um, yeah, but I see what you're saying. Um, it's just... Um, we all playing team defense, great team defense. Um, you see, uh, Sully got, you know, got a pick last week. Um, stepping up, you know, what I'm saying um, um, we all want to work together, front end, back end, uh, starters, backups. You know, what I'm saying you never know when your number's gonna be called, but you know, you know, it says a lot about about how we're preparing and um, you know how we all are getting after it. Adrian, are you involved in any of these? Uh Post turnover celebration planning sessions. Somebody um, said that uh, you guys talk. They somebody's talking about organizing it before games. Yeah, man. We. I mean, um, we gonna get after it. Um, I give our you know, celebrations about a C so far, and it ain't been too good. So um, we're gonna have to come up with a, a, a couple new ones, and um, that means we're gonna have a lot more big plays coming. You know, so. Um, you expect big plays, you plan for big plays, and then, you know, plan to have fun afterwards. Do you What's have a tie-breaking voice in the room? Well, it comes down to having to finally make a decision and break a tie on what you guys are going to do, who has that call. Is that Tremont oh, because no. he's ancient? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, tee the head is a thing, but, um, you know, I I think the more the merrier. So, you know, um, as long as it's appropriate and won't get us a uh, flag, um, I feel like uh, we have a lot of, you know, things we can come up with that that we, you know, got willing would be able to use. What has been your best one? If you're giving it a C, what would you say has been the best celebration so far? Best celebration so far, um, I think me and Ja handshake the best, my favorite one. You know what I'm saying? Because it was the last one. But other than that, we haven't been doing too many, um, you know, team, you know dance or anything like that. So um, that's why I said we got to step it up. Your bear, last year, the Bears team, you were on choreographed a lot of stuff. I yeah. know the NFL has relaxed its restrictions on celebrations. What does that add to the game, and what does that add to a defense being able to, to celebrate your big moments like that? It's just about having fun, something to laugh at, you know, watching a film later on. And, um, you know, it just, it just adds to the juice of the game. Oh yeah, young moolah baby.